Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Who is up with me this early in the morning? Good morning. Come on in, everybody. Come on in. Let's sit a while and have a conversation. I have been catching up on videos. I have been, wait a minute, hold on, because I'm sitting here watching Raising Canaan right now, y'all. Y'all, I'm I'm watching Raising Canaan, and this joint is off the motherfucking chain. It's off the chain, bay. I am loving every minute of this. I am. Come through, Canaan. Canaan around here selling, uh, selling, uh, crack cocaine to help his little girlfriend out with the little baby baby because the the mama on crack come through come through <clears throat> i love this show i was never able to get in touch you know to get in tune with the whole power situation because i didn't like ghosts but babe raising canaan oh yes god come through Come on in, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Tanari, what's going on, babe? Girl, Tanari, I'm up because little man is up. Let me tell you something. This nigga woke up. Eh, 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 eh. Uh, wait a minute. Hold on. Where's your mama and where's your daddy? Everybody trying to act out. Hey, mom, what's going on, babe? Everybody trying to act like they don't hit a little baby crying. They trying to act like they don't hit a little baby crying and want to leave it all up to me. It's fine. It's cool because y'all know I was all hard asleep anyway. But if I was asleep, you know what I'm saying? If I was asleep at that moment, I'm supposed to get up, wipe my eyes, wash my face, brush my teeth, and take care of y'all, baby. Because y'all done made me the grand grandmother, uh, honey, grandmother. I'm the grandmother, not the mother. The mother in the sleep, slobbing, and snoring. Oh, the mother and father is in there sleep slobbing and snoring. Uh Uh-huh. They pretend like they're not hearing shit. I guess they had already devised the plan and said, okay, well, if he wake up crying, mama going to get up. Because that's what happened. Mama got up. And so I'm up, honey. I'm up loud, live, and and living color. And he's sitting here looking at me. Like, Nana, what you talking about? Ain't no Nana what you talking about. He's sitting up here looking at me. Hey, Daddy. Hey, Daddy. What's going on, pumpkin? Baby, let me tell you, I love to get rid right up under that neck and get the kissing and carrying on. Baby, I love it. And, and he ain't but a little, he ain't but a week old, y'all. He ain't but a week old, a week and two days. He ain't but a week and two days old. But he is so focused on me. Anybody that's talking to him, he focuses on them. And I'm like, come on, little baby, come on. I didn't realize because y'all know hell, it's been five, almost six years since I, I had held a little bit of baby. Y'all, a miracle, almost six miracle be six in December. So it's been that long since I had a little bit of baby. So here come another baby, and they know I'm impartial. They know. Hold on, y'all. Hold on. Okay, I'm back. So since I had to, you know, be up anyway with him, I said, well, let me listen to a few videos because y'all know I'm playing catch up. I really don't be down here on the YouTube streets every day listening to all the lives that's going on. And so I'm over there listening to Rita. Baby, let me tell you something. I was listening to Rita, and I'm going to always listen to uh, Jay Wilson. Good morning. Look, good morning, Duchess. How are you, baby? So I'm going to always listen to them. Now, here we go with Jay Dunn, good dumbass, inserting herself into a situation that ain't got not a motherfucking thing to do with her. First off, you try to compare the situation between you and Food Junkie, between, I mean, 
and you try to compare that shit with what Rita got going on. How the fuck you gonna sit up and try to compare that shit when yes, Janet, baby, he is so lovable. He is so lovable until you peel that pamper bag. You take that pamper off, you got hell on your hands. Baby, I just fed him and changed his diaper, baby. When I changed that diaper, it was all it was World War Three in this bitch. I'm like, well, nigga, is you finna jump up and turn your head, swing your head around in a circle like exorcist? What you about to do? Because all this hollering you doing is unnecessary. Seem like to me, you would want your ass clean. Seem like to me, you would want to be dry. But whatever, do what you do. Tanari, listen, because you know, through the week, I don't have time to watch all the videos. And so on my downtime, that's when I'm sitting around playing catch up. But baby, when I tell you, when I heard the shit that was going on with Jay Dunn, dumbass, talking about um, trying to make it seem like the situation that's going on with Rita is even remotely connected with the situation that was going on with her and Food Junkie, that shit ain't got nothing. That shit ain't got nothing to do with nothing, for real, for real. Because you call the police on food junkie and bitch, you were sitting up in your goddamn bed with probably with your titties hanging out. You were probably sitting up in there with your pussy and titties hanging out, and you got the nerve to call on food junkie. When it, when really, when you think about the shit, bitch, you sitting there watching like the rest of us. How many of us have vlogged while we were in the car? I know I have. And I'm going to do it again. It's not a problem. But she wanted to make it seem like it was such a big deal. Bitch, it's not a big deal. As big as as Atlanta is, ho, you will probably never be on the same expressway as Food Junkie. But then she took it upon herself to sit around and try to uh, report him. Bitch, you report on somebody that didn't even affect your ragged ass from the beginning. So it seemed like to me, you sitting around picking and choosing what the fuck you want to address. I'm like, oh, 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 okay, I could use this right here for content and incorporate myself up in the shit. Girl, that shit is not going to work. And that's why it fell flat. It fell flatter than a goddamn, uh, it fell flat as the motherfucking floor. And then it, I'm looking at it like, well, bitch, why the fuck you so worried about what the hell food junkie got going on? You somehow talking all this shit, but you were so concerned about what food junkie got going on and the what ifs. Why the fuck are you talking about a what if? A what if? A what if? Girl, if you don't get somewhere and sit the fuck down. That shit did not pertain to you at all. You decided to attach yourself to the situation. But then when Food Junkie clapped back, and it was a whole back and forth, and then you received all the negative comments about what the fuck you did, then you decided to pipe down. Well, my thing is, what you should have done was not ever mention the shit from the beginning. You act like the shit, like it affected you personally from the beginning, and it didn't. Sit your ass down. Quit trying to be some motherfucking relevant. But if that's what you got to do to be relevant, bitch, you ain't even getting no coin for it. So I can't understand why would you even want to be a part of it. Stop putting yourself in shit. And that goes for everybody. Quit putting yourself in shit. Quit trying to make everybody's situation your situation. I'm trying, I still can't make sense of how the hell she trying to relate the situation that went on with Rita with her situation. I still ain't got that yet. And, and I, oh, yesterday I did hear Daughter Hair's video and Daughter Hair said she was the one that uh, docs Rita because she said that she had stumbled upon, she was writing and she happened to see Bill and that is how they found out where Rita lived. Because they saw Bill outside. Okay, well, even if you saw Bill outside and you can't stand read him, right? How the fuck you thought it was okay to out her location? You thought that was cool. You thought that was what's up and that was the right thing to do, right? So you thought all of that. But I will say this, daughter here that already said, bitch, try me and I'm going to knock on your motherfucking door. 
hey paulette she said bitch try me and i'm going to knock on the door but it's talking about she gonna have cps with her why are you gonna have cps with her rita came out yesterday and said that um little bill is 15. 15. so at that point he could be home alone and <coughs> hold on y'all the other two kids can be there too because he is the one that's 15 really can ride around all motherfucking day and ain't got to be to the goddamn house because little bill is 15 and it's all right at this point y'all need to sit y'all ass down and quit trying to cause trouble where there really should not be everybody that's talking about they come out coming out gonna call cps call cps for what what's the infraction what's the cause what you talking about i'm just trying to figure it out and i will say this last week cps came to my home i don't know who the fuck called them i don't even care i it, well, it had to be one of my neighbors because of all the shit they said it had to be one of my neighbors because of all the shit they said and i feel like bitch, mind your own motherfucking business because when you and your goddamn husband over there fighting and carrying on and he out there wearing your way ass out i don't say a motherfucking word because i don't give a fuck i've been living over here for seven years and i can't even tell y'all my neighbor's names because that's not what i do i get out my truck and go in the motherfucking house I don't sit out there and try to wave and be friendly and shit. No, bitch. I don't want to be your goddamn friend. I don't want to be your friend because we are the only black family in this neighborhood. We're the only black family in the neighborhood. Bitch, I don't want to be your goddamn friend. But now y'all ass want to call CPS and the police. And every time you turn around, they knocking on my motherfucking door. I'm like, damn. What's up, sunshine? well you know what sunshine it is the principle of the matter and it is the it's the fact that you got to consider you who are the ones that are calling you know what i'm saying it's not like it's okay and in return that she's a victim it's like okay let's talk about and let's consider the source that's what we got to do consider the motherfucking source Hold on, y'all. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> 